Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So there was an interview with Columbus Short. I'm sure we've seen him on Scandal and also on a series, oh my God, with Drew. I just totally, <laughs> it skipped my mind. It's on Bounce. Uh, so he did an interview. Uh, he's now married to a non-black woman. I think she may be Armenian of that nature, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, he's been married twice before, is my understanding. And I know one was a black wife, if not both, the first two times around. I know at least one was. But he was asked a question about um, the difference of being with non-black women compared to black women. So I'm just going to play a quick clip of what he said. So check it out. That's well, what they're well, going to say, well, so well, I want you to tell, answer Let me talk that. about it being a man. I'm going to answer all your questions. Okay. So let me talk about being a man. Our men, black men, find uh, find ourselves in being able to provide and being able to protect. Mm. Um, when we are denied the ability to provide, uh, we feel less Ooh. than. Uh, when we are not come mm. to the 2000s <laughs> and these women are black women who were raised by single mothers, absentee mm. fathers, fathers that are either incarcerated, dead, or just gone. Talk about um, it. That their mama said, you don't need no, mm. you don't need no man. You can do it by yourself. So then that. And let me tell you why the mama said it. Because the mama experienced that, guess what? When she had a man, you know what was happening? She was with a man now. She was already doing everything by herself. Yeah, let's not forget that part. When black women making that comment, you don't need a man. Because even when she had a man, it was pretty much the same thing. Her doing everything by herself. <laughs> and then the lies about, oh, I don't know if he's, you know, maybe he didn't get the memo. Or I don't know if maybe, just maybe, he may have put out a BS memo. But being de denied the what the right to provide and protect as a collective, when have they provided for black women? Black women in the seventies, they were thirty percent of the breadwinners, and now we fast forward, and they're like eighty-four percent of the breadwinners. Bl black women, eighty-four percent. So. If we're over 84% of the breadwinners, what's he doing? What is he providing besides some uh, children that he can't afford to feed? He's quick to breathe, but can't afford to feed for the collective. If it's not you, it doesn't apply, let it fly. The lies we t t dots on the block, I think they lie a lot. Denied the ability to provide and protect. You got to be kidding me. Denied the ability to provide and protect. No one's denying the ability to provide. A lot of them don't and they won't. Why do you think there's so many cases of, oh, why do you think they complain about child support so much? Well, if it's true they're being denied the right to provide and protect, then the women will need to put you on child support. They wouldn't have to contact the state. They wouldn't have to get on Section 8, but they're on because guess what? They need a place to stay. Denied the ability to provide and protect? Again, I think sometimes whether they're in Hollywood, that they're a T-Dots, so they're on the block. I think T-Dots, which means that Dusty over there, T-Dots lie a lot. <laughs> this is a joke. Remember the Sports Illustrated, even when... Even when their millionaires make a lot of money, the Sports Illustrated cover is like decades old, had a young little black boy on there, so cute, but what was the title? Worst Daddy! <laughs> Columbus Short. Let's talk about, oh, the night the ability to protect. Because you know, I remember you losing that job on Scandal, did you not? Yeah, they have to tell you, bye-bye. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Here's why.
keep in mind, denied the ability to provide and protect. Man, that is like the joke of the century. Um, looks like to me, didn't your wife need protection from you? I think two of them did. Here's an article that says, former scandal star Columbus Short charged with two misdemeanors after domestic violence arrest. Huh. Columbus Short has also been accused of domestic violence by two of his previous wives. And this was in, let's see, published February 17th of 2022. Is that not you, boo? Is that you, Columbus? Is that you? Mr. Columbo, there you go. Is that you? Looks like Columbus Short to me. Columbus Short is facing two misdemeanor charges after being arrested for the domestic violence earlier this month. Again, this is like, what, two years ago in 2022. It says on Wednesday, the outlet reported that Short, at the time he's 39, is facing one charge of domestic violence and one charge of child endangerment. The child endangerment charge was filed because the incident allegedly took place in front of a child for the outlet. The charges were issued by L.A. City Attorney Michael J. Fuhr this week. Again, this is two years ago. Wow. Unbelievable. It says on February 2nd, Short was taken into custody following an incident involving his wife, Adia Abraham, according to TMZ. Police reportedly received a call around 10.30 p.m. regarding a verbal altercation between the couple that turned physical at a home in the San Fernando Valley. No! After they arrived, police said Short accused his wife of punching him in the face. Authorities didn't see any markings on the actor upon inspection per the outlet. However, they reportedly did notice a minor injury on Abraham's face, resulting in Short's felony arrest. Really now? So, it sounds like to me he didn't provide protection. Sounds like to me that maybe his wife needed the protection. The actor was arrested shortly after at 1 a.m. on a single felony domestic violence charge, TMZ said. He was booked an hour later at the Los Angeles Police Department, Van Nuys Station, and bail was set at $50,000, according to an inmate record. Oh, my God, inmate record. But black men are... They're not respected. They're they're not they they don't get the opportunity to provide and protect. Looks like the ladies need protection from you, boo. And here's a wife. Here it says one of the wives. It says Columbus Short's wife files for divorce and a restraining order. Gee, I wonder why. Been divorced before, but I didn't need a restraining order. And what? Huh? Really now? Now. He, Here's what I believe is his current wife. Girl, you better watch your back. But hey, you know, he might not attack. He's looks like he's been in charge based on the two power wives. So maybe he's learned to listen, you know, getting those handcuffs. So maybe he's learned not to attack like that. Huh. So it sounds like to me. Did you forget about you were being arrested for what? Allegedly, uh, for what? You were arrested for DV, domestic violence? I guess Columbus sort of forgot about this report, huh? Not one, charged with two. And then you got a, is that a felony arrest? Dude, so I guess you have a booking photo. I remember this again. That's why he got the walking papers from Scandal. Yeah. I guess Shonda Rhimes may have said, mm, not this time. The lies. Again, T. Dots on the block, man, even in Hollywood, I think they lie a lot. Why are a lot of black women facing homelessness right now? Because they've had children by black men and those black men don't want to support the children. Just showed you the video, some food talking about um, putting food. I mean, basic putting food, you know, I guess she's afraid the mother of his children may eat. That if the children, if the 
baby mother doesn't have any food? Is this his responsibility to put food in the refrigerator? How stupid can you be? How remedial? You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. How stupid can you be? You want to know if it's his responsibility. So what you want the baby mother to cook the food and put it in her refrigerator and pay the light bill and then not eat. But the kids can eat, but you don't want her to eat. Again, go ahead if you want to breed with the seed of poverty. D. And poverty is not always finances. Poverty is the way you think your mentality. Yeah, that part. Unbelievable. Again, what do they say? The lies that we t you tell yourselves. I mean, at this point, who who's buying it? At this point, who's like really, really buying it? Then, so that energy Ooh, this is comes in, this, this, that energy comes into the heart. And the energy, you know what also comes? That poverty from carrying the seed of poverty D of men who do not value children that look like them. That, 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 that's what comes into play. But the lies, what's the saying? You ain't got to lie, Craig. You don't. I don't know if they think if they keep on with this narrative that maybe, just maybe, hey, guess what? Somebody might buy it, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe somebody might buy it. it, it it's old. It's old and maybe a little comical. But the seed of poverty, D. The seed of poverty, D. It's unbelievable. No one is denying them the, the right to uh, protect themselves uh, or protect their children, protect their offspring. No one is denying them the right to provide. They should want to provide, but often, a lot of times, they're, they're forced to do so. So you have to ask yourself, why? Why, why is that? It takes us, listen, we've already seen the videos We've already seen the videos. Look up how many of these women end up having children by these men. And then you look up, oh, what's done happened? What happened? She got unalived. How many pregnant women get ended up, end up murdered because they're pregnant and you look up, it's the baby daddy. Uh-oh, don't mention child support. Don't mention child support. I've seen whole videos saying a lot of black men are arrested or in prison because black men put them there by putting them on child support. No, his body put him there. Him being loose with his body put him there. Protection is not expensive. You pay more for that for the shoes on those on dust bucket feet. No one's buying it. The same group, costing the community due to the lack of employment, what? Costing the community, what? $50 billion annually. Where the women are 84% of the breadwinners, co-breadwinners, let you know, even a co-breadwinner must can't make it without her. A black woman saying, telling her daughters that you don't need a man. Truth be told, in the home, even if he is there, pretty much the black woman is on her own. She has to provide. She has to do everything. That's why they got this term called married single mother. And it's in all nationalities. I just saw one with Dusty Dan. How's the wife getting out the vehicle? In the video, she was getting out the vehicle. She had like two bags on her arm. And hold on, she was in the drive. Like she's coming from the driver's seat. Two bags on her arm and grabbing the baby. Then the dad comes on the passenger side and she falls down. Looks petite to me. Two bags on her arm and grabbing the baby and falls down. He gets out the car. He has nothing on his arm. Why would she do that? She's used to doing it. She falls down. He helps the baby. She get up on her own. Why would she do it? She's used to doing it. Why couldn't he get out first and get the bath and have her to get the baby? Why does she do that? Because she's used to doing it. It's nothing new. So, 
Ladies, don't believe the lies. Don't believe the lies. You ain't got to lie, Craig. No one's denying them the ability to provide. Looks like people have to. Got to go to court for that big old, oh, let me see, $35 child support check a month. There's a video out there, and I've lost it because I, you know, I get videos and I'm like, wow, look at them. And then I get busy, and it's like, wow, there's so many. Ah, uh, the sisters sure are flossing. Well, how much was your child support? I'm going to go shopping. And the child support check is a joke. Some were saying 7 and $10. <laughs> girl was it even worth giving birth that, that dust bucket wasn't even worth the dinner where'd you go i hop two for one unbelievable unbelievable but hey this is where we are so colombo are you i I asked the question his name is colombo short so i'm calling him colombo colombo it looks to me like maybe just maybe it's, i'm starting to get the vibe that maybe did you put out a bs memo this is a joke the jokes on these dudes write themselves again from hollywood to the hood one thing I noticed about T dots, which means that dusty over there, man, T dots, they, to me, they seem to lie a lot. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You know what the worst lie is? The one you tell yourself. And the sad thing is, the world is watching. Everybody knows. Black women are most educated, most going entrepreneurs in the country. Gee, I wonder why they have to. It's either build for yourselves, because guess what? In most cases, the men aren't there because why? They don't care. Let me know what you all think about Colombo. Colombo, talk to me. You putting out a line behind Memo. You better stop. T dots on the block. Lord have mercy. They sure do lie a lot. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out. He just lying. I think he lying. I know he lying. Liar.